first off let me say ignore my messy garage i've got boxes over here from some uh, for, from some camera stuff that just got shipped in and then all my tools and everything that are all around anyway just ignore all that but what i want to talk to you about and what i want to show you is i hate getting flats a while back i did a video showing how my giant tcr wheel the the wheels that came on the giant tcr they just didn't roll and i got many comments saying well it's the liquid inside this is the liquid that I put in all of my tires. I don't have it in these new ICANN Aero 40s that I have on my bike and I was just kind of rushing to get them on. I realized that I have the directional on in the wrong direction. That's okay, but it's also time for me to rotate them. And if you're like me, after riding for a while, you notice that the back tire tends to get a little bit flat and it happens more on softer race tires more quickly than it does on other tires. So. It's about time now for me to change these tires. I'm gonna move the front tire to the back and the back to the front. And then I'm gonna show you how to insert. What I use is Endurance tubeless sealant. It works really well in tubes as well. It's a nice latex, it stays nice and soft. So let's get this started. Let me sw swap out some bikes. I'm gonna take the Giant from here. I'm gonna put it up there so that I can take off the wheels and we'll get working. Let's do that. Okay, so now I've done my swap and me personally, I like to keep it in a higher gear when I store it just so that the rear derailleur doesn't have as much spring tension on it. It's just a personal thing. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but that's me. So I'm ready to go to remove this rear wheel and then I'm gonna pop these tires off so that I can add sealant. I happen to have tubes that I can remove the stem to make it real easy, but I'm gonna do it as if I did not have those. So if you wanted to add sealant to your wheels, it's not gonna eliminate flats, it's just going to minimize the, the amount of flats. So if you're rolling over something, you get a quick puncture and it pulls out, it seals up, no mess, no, no fuss, no nothing. So let me get these off and I'll show you exactly how I'm gonna do it. Okay, let's get that done. Of course, now the first thing is to just let the air out and then uh, I'll remove the tires because I do want to swap them around anyway. It's very, very slight and you won't be able to see it. It is starting to flatten out just a wee bit. I can feel it with my thumb. I think that happens because I climb so much. Maybe it's just because it's the rear drive tire. I don't know. But either way, I've got them in the incorrect position as far as drive goes. And I wanna swap them so they last longer. So there's the front, now the back. And now the really, really fun part, taking the tires off. Since these are, um, since these are tubeless ready, they really, the, the, the beads really, really snap in. And I have heard other people complain about it. To me, it's never been a big deal. You just loosen it up before you pop them off and then it becomes a piece of cake. So there we go. I'm gonna start opposite end of, take that off because I do screw these down if I don't have, Depending on what I'm using, this wonderful little nut actually keeps it from um, it keeps it from vibrating. If you don't have this, take a, a single piece of electrical tape, wrap it around the stem so it doesn't vibrate in there if you have smooth stems. So now let me pop this off. I personally start on the opposite end of the valve stem where there's the least amount of pressure. And if you happen to have a tire that is really, really tight, you might have to use two different tire levers. Once you've got it in there, worked out a little bit, just work it all the way around. Piece of cake. So now I'm gonna pull my tube out so that I can get this tire all the way off. One tube, out. Get it in there, push it around, out, that easy. And since this is my drive side, the arrows on this should go forward. They didn't. I made a mistake. And if you're ever stuck out on the road and you can't get the bead, you need to loosen that bead first. I'm starting the opposite end of the valve stem. Let's see if I can do it with just one. These tires are tight, so I don't think so. No. I always carry two with me anyway. And as long as I have it open 
As long as I have the, I'm going to check to make sure that the rim strip on the inside is still well seated, hasn't slid around, because that causes flats too. Okay, good to go. So now I'm going to take the tire that I had on the back. And since my directional rotation is this way on these, <laughs> If, you don't, if you're not running disc, it's not a big deal at all because you can just switch your tire around. But with discs, there's only one direction that your tire is going to roll. So for me, it's going to go this way. And again, the arrows on this one, since my personal preference is gator skins, even the smooth ones tend to have a directional arrow. It's because of the way, or at least the high-end ones do, it's the way the fibers are laid in to make it either roll better, last longer, be more supple, whatever it's going to be. And <laughs> it's an aesthetics thing. I think the pros, are, this is what I was taught, is the name always goes where the valve stem is. That's the way the pros do it. Well, then that's the way I do it, I guess. Okay, tires on. And again, I do have tubes where the valve stems come out, but I'm not going to take them out for this one. I might for the rear one, but for this one, I'm not. You're going to do it just like you would do any other tube, right? You're going to give it just a wee bit of air. Just enough to get it in so it doesn't pinch. Let's get it started. And if you're newer to cycling, you really do want to do that so that you're not pinching it. Make sure that your tube is seated all the way up inside your tire. Get the whole thing on there. With a little bit of air in there, your chances of actually pinching it are reduced. Not eliminated, just reduced. All right, back in. And I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to get this in with the valve stem in. Okay, what I have here is this is a syringe and you can get this at any pet store or something like that, Target, any place that sells it. And the back of the, the bottle here shows for a 700C, it shows you all the different one, but for a 700C tire, it's 10 to 20 ounces, which would work out to uh, using your smartphone uh, about 59 cc's. Well, I'm not gonna go that much because I'm using a, a tube, right? So what I've done is this, particular one comes with this with this nice little hose and I cut it in half so now I've got half on this and half on this works real well I'm gonna fill up the syringe first slide it down in there turn this upside down do not get this stuff on your clothes it is very very messy All right now I'm not gonna go the full because I have a tube, I just want it to seal if there's a problem. So I'm going to take it up to about four. You can go as much as you would like. The idea is you don't want to have something else spilling out. So I've got it pinched off, bringing it down this way, make sure I have the amount I want, and I'm going to disconnect it from here. Don't want to get it on your clothes, don't want to get it on anything else. Put the other piece of my hose that I cut off over the syringe, and it's ready to go. We're going to let gravity do the work for us. I have that nut on there just to make it a little bit easier. Now I'm going to use gravity, okay? It's just going to slide right, right down in there just like it does when you fill up your tires with air. Pull it back out. Just keep going until it all goes in there. Sealant is in. I'm going to remove this. But now I do have a mess on my valve stem, not a problem. I will simply clean that off and then I'm good to go. I can fill it with, with uh, regular air. One thing you do want to do when you store your tires after you have them filled, don't leave it valve stem down. I have mine supported sideways. As you can see, I have a rag in there to keep that one that way. That just makes it easier to fill up and all the fluid that's in there doesn't come down. So now I'm ready to fill it up. Let's do that and we're ready to reinstall.
And there you go, all pumped up to pressure, ready to go. Get everything sealed back up. Now the, uh, now the treads are in the correct direction. I've got sealant in here, so I'm not as worried about getting flats out on the road. Not a big deal if I do. Good to go, let me get the other one set, and I'm done. Hey man, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. And again, don't get any on your clothes, don't forget to clean up the mess that you make, it is easy to clean. I'll see you guys out there, man. Johnny Pink, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Check out some of my cycle videos. I'll see you guys. Thanks, man. Bye.